Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and today we are going to check out the final of the Zuru Toys Robo Alive Dino Wars figures, as we have the Stegosaurus here to take a look at. And I must say that I am really excited actually about this Stegosaurus because just looking at it through the little window here on the box, it looks super, super nice. Easily the nicest out of all of these figures that I've reviewed of this line so far. And it's the only one that I believe I have not seen prior. So it must be a new sculpt that they have created. And that might be why it's so nice because they have a pretty good track record of creating some really nicely sculpted dinosaurs, especially if you've been watching the videos of the Dino Strike figures. Those are awesome as far as the sculpts go. And I feel like, although the Raptor was pretty nice, if they re-sculpted the Raptor to look more like the Zuru Toys Dino Strike Raptors, it would have been super, super nice. Same deal with the Rex. The Rex that they had released in their last line of Dino Strike figures was, in my opinion, phenomenal. So this Stegosaurus being the newest of the bunch looks to be, again, a brand new sculpt that looks really really nice here through the box as far as the box art goes we again have dino wars and stegosaurus right here and then over here on the far side you have a really nice image some nice artwork of a stegosaurus again the stegosaurus we're looking at right here and then if we turn the box around you could see some images here on the back showing some of the action features and stuff as well as information on the stegosaurus and then down here we have the other figures that are available in both the dino wars line but also just generally the robo alive line so let's break this out of its box and check it out so here is our stegosaurus and I must say that out of the packaging, the Stegosaurus is pretty much exactly what I was hoping it would be. Really awesome. Definitely the nicest out of the entire bunch. And again, it has a very strong Dino Strike vibe to it. Like, I honestly feel like it almost looks like an upscaled version of what we would get in the Dino Strike Surprise Eggs. And I definitely love that. Even including a very similar style to like the wounds on the side and everything. That's all the type of thing that we see in the Dino Strike Surprise Egg figures. And I love those figures. And the Stegosaurus has a pretty impressive size to it. And a really cool appearance to the plates along the back. They're of like a really cool translucent type of a look. But then they have like a reddish color to them. Very interesting. And I'm really excited to actually take a look at this figure up close. So let's go ahead and jump straight to a closer look right now. So starting up at the head sculpt of our Stegosaurus, you can see that the head sculpt actually looks really quite awesome. Of course, being a Zuru Toys Dino Wars figure, you are absolutely not going to get accuracy. And these figures in no way, shape, or form are meant to be accurate. So that's not something that we are worried about right now. But what you will get is a really cool, very exaggerated looking dinosaur. And that is definitely what I see here with this head sculpt of the Stegosaurus, even including like, you know, ridges and spikes on the head sculpt of the Stegosaurus, which is very, very different from what a Stegosaurus would actually look like. But again, continuing on with that kind of off the wall Dino Wars vibe. I love the way that the Stegosaurus head sculpt looks. And you can also see the nostrils right here. The eyes have been given yet again that glass eye treatment and they look really cool. We don't have as much detail in the eyes this time as we had with the Tyrannosaurus, but still a pretty nice looking eye. And again, of course, the eyes can kind of follow you, which is definitely a plus. The beak is painted with a brownish coloration right here. Unfortunately, we don't actually see any detail inside the mouth at all. So that's a little minor downside, but the mouth is really small, so it's not a huge deal. As we move back here into the body, you start to see some pretty nice looking detailing throughout the Stegosaurus. Again, not quite as vibrant as what you would see on the Dino Strike figures, but still pretty nice looking. And the plates up here on the back all have this really cool kind of translucent look to them, which is very interesting. And you can see how glossy they look and everything. It just has such a really interesting and very flashy look to them really draws you in of course the tail is a bit too short but it still actually looks pretty fun you can see the actual scale detail running along here along the back in between the plates looks really nice like that's really vibrant very large scale detail as we move along the back of the stegosaurus out into the tail you can see the thagmizers themselves are painted in a yellowish type of a coloration the tail is very straight there's no curve to it at all so the dinosaur looks like it means complete business as it's walking along here and then as we move here into the side you can of course see the areas where like the dinosaurs put together so you have like some seams and stuff but considering it's just a plastic kind of animated sort of a dinosaur it's not something that I'm 
surprised by. You can see the very large scale detail up here in the hip region. As we move down into the legs, the muscle definition actually looks really nice, as does the skin texture. Like there's a lot of really beautiful like creasing and stuff in the skin of the stegosaurus. And you can see that it has been injured here as we have two slices right along the thigh region of the stegosaurus. You can see the kneecap is present. You also have another injury here on the front leg that really sports some beautiful muscle definition. But again, the injuries are painted with a reddish coloration as well, which do sport a glossy look. So they kind of shine like blood would. As you move down into the foot sculpt, the foot sculpt looks pretty nice for the most part. You have some nicely sculpted nails, but no nail paint, which is something we haven't seen on any of these Dino Wars figures. And again, same deal for the back foot here. Again, nicely sculpted, but no nail paint. The underside also sports a pretty nicely detailed appearance to it. Unfortunately, there are screw holes throughout, but again, these figures are made for kids, so that's not exactly something that they're too worried about, I would imagine. Not something that kids are going to be you know, going crazy over is the fact that there are screw holes on the undersides of their figures. But you can see a really nice yellowish coloration here for the underside, which is really smoothly applied. It actually has a lifelike appearance as far as the application of the paint goes. And then when we lead back over to the opposing side, you're really not going to see much difference, I would imagine, on this side compared to the side that we had just taken a look at. Considering the figure is in a totally neutral position, I'm not entirely sure what exactly it's going to do as far as an action feature or anything goes. I didn't really look at the back, even though it does kind of display it for me. I sort of wanted to be surprised as far as, you know, what actually happens once the batteries are in and the dinosaur's action features operated. But as far as the actual armor and stuff that goes with it, you have a really nice weapon. Again, we have a different coloration for the armor and stuff this time. We usually have like a lighter gray. This time we have a darker gray. But again, it's really quite nicely detailed, and we have another missile type thing, very similar to the Dino Strike figures. And this was originally in one piece, but you can actually disconnect them so that you can take the armor off of the dinosaur altogether. And then you also have kind of like some little headgear and stuff. So let's go ahead, put this stuff back on the Stegosaurus, and then we'll take a look at the action features from there. So basically to attach this back, you just have to slide it through the plates and then clip it, and it's back on now sitting there exactly as it was when we had initially opened it and then with the kind of armor and stuff you just place it back over the head and it goes on perfectly as well as far as the actual articulation that we have with the figure we only have articulation in the legs like that's it and of course you can't move them you know individually on your own that's going to be part of the action feature so let's go ahead and check that out so the very first thing we want to check out is of course the missile and see how good it shoots we will try to fire it at my hand but the last time i did this i missed and it flew across the room so let's see what happens Okay, that actually did hit my hand. I had it in the right spot, and it worked really quite well. It snaps back in nicely, and now I missed my hand. But it definitely has some pretty good, you know, power when it comes out. It doesn't hurt, of course, but it can go a pretty far distance, which is definitely nice to see. As far as the action feature goes, let's check that out right now. So the walking movement of the Stegosaurus is actually pretty nice. It definitely walks pretty smoothly and, you know, looks decent when it does it. And on top of that has some really cool noises, which one of which is like the sound of the gun going. And another thing that I noticed that was really interesting is it actually had some lights on the back. So I'm going to turn off the lights really quickly and then we'll check this out in the dark to see just how nice those lights look. Okay, so that is definitely pretty cool. Okay, so that is absolutely awesome. So the action feature aspect of this figure was way cooler than I expected it to be. Similar to the Raptor, the initial Raptor that I had looked at, where it just surprised me with how crazy erratic and fast it moved, this one has a totally different style action feature, but it also surprised me. Really nice, slow, casual walk, you know, pretty much exactly what you would expect for a Stegosaurus, but... The noises are definitely really fun, almost a futuristic type of a noise with the 
kind of gun going off, kind of insinuating like a laser beam type of a weapon. But what really topped the entire thing off was the fact that the plates actually light up, and you couldn't really see it too well with the lights on, but once the lights went out, it was such a really cool looking show that occurred with the plates of the Stegosaurus, and they not only lit up, but they change colors as it goes on. So that was really cool, very unique, and very different from your normal dinosaur figure. A very cool idea on the part of Zuru, and it was actually really nicely utilized on this figure. So definitely a pretty fun action feature, quite surprising. But as far as a size goes, this Stegosaurus is quite large. For a length, you are looking at about 12 and a half inches or around 32 centimeters. And then for a height, the highest point would definitely be the plate here on the back. You are looking at just shy of 7 inches or around the 18 centimeter mark. Maybe 17 and a half, closing in on 18 centimeters, somewhere in that range. For a size comparison, there is Mr. Papo T-Rex, the Attack Pack Colovasaurus, and Robert Muldoon in comparison to our Zuru Toys, Dino Wars. Stegosaurus and you can definitely see that the figure overall does sport some pretty impressive size definitely a really nicely sized figure it's not huge by any means but definitely has an impressive size overall similar to the Tyrannosaurus that they had released I would like to see them again take another shot at recreating these figures and give us a newer updated version of the Tyrannosaurus and Raptor because I know those sculpts have been out for quite a little while now and I'm quite confident that Zuro could do a uh, much better job with the sculpts even though those were fun looking at this stegosaurus and seeing their true potential i know they could definitely produce a really really appealing looking tyrannosaurus and raptor sculpt and then for another comparison here is the entire line as we have the tyrannosaurus the raptor and the stegosaurus here all together so you could of course buy all of these and then have them battle back and forth which would definitely be a really fun idea something that kids for sure without question would eat up and in fact i think at this point my children are just aching at the idea of getting their hands on these and playing with them which they will get their hands on them and get to play with them very soon as soon as i'm done this review but again something that i feel like even as an adult collector they still look pretty darn cool together and uh, definitely give you that strong Dino Riders vibe, which really tugs at my heartstrings, just gets me every single time. So, of course, I have a soft spot for the figures. Even though they're a little goofy looking at times, they're still really quite fun. So this Zuru Toys Robo Alive Dino Wars Stegosaurus is my favorite of the three for sure. There is no doubt in my mind at all about that. The sculpt is really nice looking for what we get from Zuru. Really nicely coming close to what we get with the Dino Strike figures. And I'm a huge fan of the Dino Strike line from Zuru. I have been with each and every line that they've released so far. I've been just a huge fan of those continuously. And this sculpt of the Stegosaurus really reminds me of those so much. Not just the appearance, but of course the injuries to the side and everything. I really love that. And again, just takes me straight back to those Dino Strike figures. And uh, on top of that, the entire figure has a really cool out there type of a look for a Stegosaurus. Really exaggerated, but really fun. And considering the dinosaurs walking along with weapons strapped to it and headgear, the out there type of a feel is exactly what you would want on a Stegosaurus like this. So I think they pulled that off quite brilliantly as far as giving us a very exaggerated, but really fun Stegosaurus. The armor and weapons as well are really cool. Definitely, again, giving us that Dino Riders vibe, which I absolutely love. The color scheme of the Stegosaurus is exactly what I love on Stegosaurus with green and then red on the plates. So it's like they knew me. They just wanted to immediately make me like the figure. So they went with my favorite style Stegosaurus paint scheme. The sculpt overall, as far as like the fine detail is also really quite nice and i think probably the best out of the three so that is a huge plus as well the action feature is pretty much just your standard walking feature as far as a stegosaurus goes but it does have some fun noises and even including a noise for the weapon when the dinosaur is walking nice leisure walk making it look like a big strong kind of a beefy type of an animal exactly what again you would expect from a stegosaurus and then once you turn off the lights the glowing plates really are like the icing on the cake i loved that idea and i love the way that they've utilized it on this figure just a really cool idea overall so this is definitely a really nice figure i kind of started out like 
I kind of liked it with the raptor. Then it went a little bit down south as far as the Tyrannosaurus goes, but then rose up so high with this Stegosaurus. So I actually have a lot of hope for future releases for this line, and I would love to see Zuru make some more of these figures, especially with newer sculpts. I would definitely love to see what they produce in the future. So if you are interested in this, make sure you check your local Walmart or Target because that is where you can acquire these, as I know for a fact they are there right now. So make sure you check those stores, go pick some of these really cool Dino Wars figures up, and make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.